Hey guys, it's John, and today we are playing Granny yet again. It's been a month since I last played. I know I said I wouldn't play it again until there had been a significant update, and there has. Granny 1.4 just came out, so we're going to check it out. Uh, in the last video, I beat the game on extreme difficulty. I don't really see the point in playing it again on extreme since we've already beaten it. The only things new in this update that I'm aware of are there's a new area, there's a couple new items, and even a new weapon. That's what I hear the most about. So, in order to just see what those are like, we're gonna play on normal. The only difference between extreme and normal... <laughs> First of all, it's not on darker mode, so it's a lot easier to see. There aren't extra locks on the door, and Granny is a lot slower. So yeah, if you want to see me beat it on extreme, I'll leave a link to that video in the description and at the end of the video. So here we are, in Granny's house again. And we're just gonna get moving. Close that. Open this. So, I'm not a granny expert or anything. There's nothing in here. Oh wait! Piece of a painting. So you can complete the painting if you want to get an extra day. We won't need it. I'm not a granny expert by any means, but uh, I have beaten the game a couple times. So I pretty much know what to do. If you're not aware of what this game is, it's a mobile horror game in which you have to run from Granny. She has a baseball bat. She'll knock you out if she sees you. And you have five days to complete it so you can die four times. Your goal is to escape the house. There are inventory puzzles all over the place. And that's basically what it is. A lot of people don't like it, but there are a lot of people who do like it. A little too much if you ask me. I think it's a solid game. For what it is, I've always had a good time playing it. So here we are. Now, I'm gonna watch her. She's gonna go into that room over there. And this is a good time for us to leave. She might see us, but that's okay. We're on normal difficulty, so it's not gonna be that hard. This is my favorite thing to do. Go into the secret passage behind the basement. Go to the secret staircase. Now we gotta find some items to start solving puzzles. She's in the basement right now, we can hear her. Let's go ahead and check this room first. Nothing there, nothing there. Good. Sometimes there are things on the blood stains. sometimes there are things on the uh, table. Let's knock this off. What is this? Part of a shotgun? What? <laughs> so I guess we can make a shotgun in this one. This is Teddy. Now, brief history on Teddy. When I played this game last time, I completely ignored Teddy. When you pick up Teddy, Granny knows exactly where you are. She can sense you at all times while you're carrying Teddy. So I didn't pick it up. What you're supposed to do with it is you're supposed to take it to this baby crib in the attic. You drop it in there, and then Slendrina appears. Which is one of the developer's other games. Now personally, I don't really care about Slendrina. I don't really plan on doing the Easter egg, but if a moment presents itself, maybe I'll do it. Okay. Yeah, hi Granny. She's walking around up there. I don't know what to do with this shotgun part. Maybe there's like a workbench we can take it to or something. Oh! New area! This is it! There's a car. This is a garage? What? Oh no. She definitely heard that. Hang on a second. Aren't we in a basement below the basement? Doesn't that mean we're underground? Why is there a garage here? Well, we're gonna drive off into the dirt? That doesn't make any sense. Okay, well, I knocked something over down here, but I don't think she's coming. So, that's fine. Okay, we can get into the car. Looks like there might be something in the glove compartment. Ooh, another part of a shotgun. Here we go. This is it. Oh, I need another part. And then there's ammo. Cool. You got a sauna, Granny? Are you kidding me?
Oh my god. <laughs> wow. I didn't expect you to have a sauna. I need a car key. Okay. Hmm. Need a car key. So, we've already found a couple new items. Or, new items that we need. We need a car key to get into the trunk of the car. And we're trying to assemble a shotgun. We've already got two out of three parts. So that's pretty good. Let's get into the glove compartment. There's nothing in the glove compartment. And that definitely made noise. There's nothing in there. <sighs> Waiting for her to come down. I'm used to playing this on harder difficulties. Where she's much more attentive. And she's much faster. So I don't know if I should like... Be concerned. She's not coming. Okay, let's go in here. Ooh, we got the winch handle. Nice. I actually have a plan for this. Drop that. I'm gonna drop the winch handle back in the secret staircase. This is my favorite tactic to do in Granny. Basically, whenever you drop an item, in theory, she hears it. That was weird. And she'll come running towards it right away. So I'll just drop it back here a couple times. Since it's on normal, it might take her more than uh, one time to understand where it's coming from. Sounds like she's close. Coming back here? I'm not going to leave until I see her down here. Because this is the furthest point you can take her away from places where you want to go. Okay, here she comes. She's down there. Somehow she doesn't see me. I guess her eyesight's going in her old age. So now we're going to take this winch handle. We're going to take the secret passage. Consider this a walkthrough if you've never been able to beat Granny. Although there's like a million of them on YouTube. Uh, this is the secret area that was unveiled in the last update. Okay. Oh, there's a melon there. This is perfect. Okay, so we put the winch handle right here. From what I've understood, this doesn't actually make noise. And that's the hammer. The most important item in the game. You can't do anything without this freaking hammer. Uh, ooh, this is a tough one. Let's hope she's not nearby. So, behead the melon. Playhouse key. Cool. Drop that. Pick up the hammer. She's definitely coming in there now. I made, like, a ton of noise. What you do with the hammer is, yeah, she's trying to get into the door that she locked. I don't know. I don't know what goes through her old feeble brain. Here we go. So she's in the playhouse room right now. This should be perfect time for us to come up here. And take this off. We also need the hammer for the attic. Oh, she just came out over there. We're going to go up through the secret staircase, go to the attic. Use the hammer on the boards. It'll be a good time. Oh, she put a trap right there. Clever girl. Sounds like she's pretty close, actually. I'm gonna hide under here. Did she drop like three? She drew. She dropped like three traps. I could have just kept going. <laughs> but I entered the bed just to be safe. Turn around. She's about to come around that corner. Okay, let's knock this over. Ooh, she opened up the attic just now. I've got a plank. What you're supposed to do is you're supposed to take the plank, put over that uh, broken floor over there, because otherwise you'll fall to the ground. Let me see if I can drop this without falling through it. Could be kind of tricky. I don't think I'm gonna. I'll, oh. Okay, she heard it, so she's going for it. Perfect. Go for it, Granny. 
There we go. Oh, she's coming up. <laughs> I think she knocked over something and she got startled by it. She knocked over the plank. And then she ran for it. She put a bear trap there. You trying to catch yourself, Granny? And she just shook her head like, oh. What has my life become? Oh, here we go. Cutting pliers. Perfect. The cutting pliers are used in the basement to cut the power to something. And then on the main door as well. Oh, crap. I made a noise. <laughs> Hope she doesn't come after me. Okay, we're safe now, so I'll drop that. And here we go into the basement. Time to cut this. Time to cut that. Got the playhouse key. This goes right there. Gonna open that up just cause. And then we're gonna leave. Cause I wanna use the playhouse key somewhere else. She's opening she's opening the door that she locked again. Why does she keep relocking it? I can't get through that door that she just went to. So I have to take the secret underground passage. I guess she doesn't think about the fact that she'll have to do it too. Okay. Now I'm going to drop this back here a couple times. I dropped it like four times. So that should do it. Come on, Granny. Come on, you freaking idiot. Freaking Philistine, I'm dropping this so you can hear it. Here, yeah, here she comes, that got her. That got her mad. Oh, she put a bear trap on the stairs. How cool. Watch out. Don't, uh, don't step in it. Okay, let's open these drawers. Sometimes there's stuff in here. Nothing, really. There's a piece of a photograph there. I don't really care too much about that. Sometimes there's something in the entertainment center. Not this time. Sometimes there's something in the cabinet. Not this time. Um. Ah, crap. Piece of a photograph. Don't care. Part of a shotgun. This is good. Can I go this way? I can. Okay, this will get her. This looks like the last part of the shotgun. Pretty cool. We'll be able to assemble it in no time. This is the most important part, by the way. It's got the trigger on it. I'm not gonna be able to do anything without that. Okay. You know, I like this new area. I wonder if it's possible to trap Granny in the sauna, because that would be funny. I'd like to get that footage. Here we go. Toss it in there. Got ourselves a shotgun with some ammo. The shotgun is loaded. Oh, okay. Might as well not even bring the ammo with us. Okay, and there's nothing else in here, right? Okay. Can I open this side? Oh, you can hide in the car. That's kind of funny. It looks like you can just open up this garage door. There's a handle right there. Why don't you just do it? What's the hold up? Okay, let's go ahead. Knock this down. Because I, I want to I wanna get her. I want to get her. Here she comes. Here she comes. Ooh! Boom, headshot! She's gone for about a minute. That wasn't a headshot, but it felt like it. 
Feels good to use the shotgun. Let's go ahead and uh, get another round in there for when she comes back. Usually Granny respawns in the basement after after she's done with her one minute hiatus. So it's dangerous to stay down there. Ugh. Ugh. Okay. Now, let's see, is there anything? She's still ragdolling down there. There's the padlock code. Okay. I'll remember that. But first, I wanna open up these. Cog wheel, okay. Anything, anything, no, no. And we don't care about the pictures because we don't need them. Nope, nope. Okay, so we got cog wheel and we got, uh, I'm just listening for her because she might be back by now. There we go. Oh, here she is. Here she comes. Oh, that is just, that is just too much. Okay, let's go ahead and take the cog wheel, I guess, because I don't like being in the kitchen. It's one of the more dangerous places to be because the stairs are right there. Let's take the cog wheel. Put it in the playhouse, even though we need two cog wheels to actually do anything in here. There we go. This is our last shotgun round, which is kind of scary. With the tranquilizer bow, you can shoot her as many times as you want. This, we have limited ammo, which is a little more balanced, if you ask me. Okay. Oh. Oh. Okay, well, that's that. Okay, let's get that padlock code and come back down here. Oh wait, no, the padlock code goes to the front door, okay. Here we go, padlock code, thanks. Right there, got it. I'm gonna keep it with me just in case I need to drop it for any reason. Coming up here, did I open these? I did, because I got the pliers there. It's hard to remember sometimes where you've been, where you need to go. Okay, here's that baby's crib where we can see Slendrina. Okay, here's an extra cog wheel, perfect. This is exactly what we want. Maybe not exactly. She's probably back by now. Heck, she might be coming after me right now. I thought I heard footsteps. Nah, nah, we're good. I see you. No, you don't. You really don't see me. Okay. Let's keep going. She should be in the secret staircase by now. There we go. I do need the weapons key. Because I need to uh, get the tranquilizer dart. Once we get those, we can pretty much do whatever we want. Okay, here we go. Weapon key, that's what I'm talking about. That's what we need. She probably heard that. Let's go get the uh, crossbow and the tranquilizer dart. We can use that to get the screwdriver that's up on a shelf somewhere, and we can also use that to pretty much have our way with the entire house. Oh, she just walked right in that time. She didn't struggle with the door at all. Knock that over, maybe she'll come that way. This game's so easy on normal. <laughs> I'm used to the harder difficulties and... There were times on extreme when I was getting a little frustrated. Okay. Oh, two! Little overkill, don't you think? Okay, crossbow, tranquilizer. Oh my god, there's three more. 
There we go. There's three more shotgun ammo up there. Were, th were they there before? Okay. You know what? You know what? Let's do something. Let's do that dumb Easter egg. Here we go. Teddy. Here it is. Let's take it to the basement, or the attic, rather. She's gone for about a minute, so we should be safe on our way there. And then we'll get that screwdriver over there. Okay, here we go. Let's see this grand Easter egg. Uh, drop. Oh, there's Slendrina, everybody! That was worth it. Okay. Yeah, they made another game called, like, Slendrina the Cellar, or I don't, I don't really know. I honestly have no idea. Got her! Out of my way. Oh, also, we need the, uh... We also need the pliers to get that thing in the attic up there. Boom. Boom. Come on. Another thing I want to try to do... Wait, what is it? Padlock key. Oh, cool. So we take this to the front door, actually. Come back here for crying out loud. She's setting traps up there, not paying attention. Come on. This is where I need you to be. I hear her walking. There she is. So one thing I also want to try to do is I want to try to lock her in the sauna because I think that'd be funny. Here we go. Get the crossbow, tranquilizer dart. Oh, there, there's the pliers. Okay, knocked over a couple things. She should be on her way back. There's no way you can ignore this, Granny. What? <laughs> Who do you think you are? There we go. Okay, so actually, mm, yeah, let's just take this. Let's go. I have a plan for how we can trap her in there. I think it'll work. But first I want to get like all the way done. Uh, let's get the hammer first. Because you can destroy the uh, security camera with it. Then let's get this. Cutting pliers. Get back here. It's actually the safe key. Interesting. Hmm. I don't know where she is right now. Probably in the basement, though. Where is she? Okay, she's coming. Come on! Come on! I want to get tranquilized again. I love getting tranquilized. It's the only way Granny gets her naps these days. There she is. God, she's so slow. Look at that, she just... She just crapped out that bear trap. Uh. Okay, now... Safe key, right. Here we go. Is this the master key? It's the car key. Weird, okay. Right, I forgot that we could even, right. Oh, <gasps> master key, we got it guys. Okay, I've got a plan. Okay, here we go. Drop the master key in there. Hide in the car.
Come on. Oh, shit. <laughs> it worked! It worked! She's relaxing in the sauna! Oh no, she wants to get out! I'm too relaxed. That's cool. That's cool that you can do- It kills her? It kills her. What? Does it kill me? Turn it off! That's an intense sauna! Granny, why do you even have this? Where's the master key? I put the master key in here. There it is. <laughs> Please don't melt in the sauna. The super powerful heated sauna. Please. Okay. We've done everything I want to do. So let's go ahead and leave. There we go. We did it! We beat Granny again! And we saw some new stuff. Oh! That's a different ending. Is it because we put Teddy in the baby crib? Oh no. I want to kiss him so badly. Did you mean to text me? I'd like to kiss you too. What the f- Get this out of here. Okay. Cool. So I guess that was an alternate ending. A secret ending. Alright, well, uh, you know, I think Granny gets better with each update. I really do. I think every update makes it more complex, adds new inventory puzzles. I like it. I don't think it's a bad game. I, I think, uh, I think there are some problems with it still, like, when Granny's behind you, you still can't hear her, which I think you should be able to hear her footsteps at all times, no matter which direction you're facing. I think the stealth is kind of atrocious in this game. There's really no point to ever crouching because you can just use the floor creaks and dropping items to lure her where you want to lure her. And I wish there was more of a stealth focus in Granny. Like, sometimes you hide, but that's not stealth. That's just a hide mechanic. There's really no way to stealth around her out in the open. Because even if she's not facing you, and even if you don't make noise, she can still turn around. I've had her do it to me before. She can still turn around and run directly towards you if you're close enough. So there's no way you're able to sneak past her or anything. Basically, you have to use a weapon to neutralize her, or you have to hide until she goes away, or you have to drop an item someplace to make her run over there so you can go where she just was. And, I mean, it's rather unique. I can't think of another game that works like that, but at the same time, I do want more stealth in this game. I think that's probably my biggest complaint, uh, along with the omnidirectional audio. So yeah, that was Granny 1.4. Once again, I, I feel like I'd be fine with playing it for every update. I would like the updates to make more sense though. Having a garage in the double basement a little unbelievable. Maybe she's on some weird hill where she her house is at the very top of it and the basement actually comes out the side of the hill into a road. I don't know. But I, I would like it to make more sense. I think, I think with this latest area that was unveiled, the garage, I think the developer might be running out of ideas for new areas to add. Here's an idea. What if in the next update, after you get out of the house, there's more. I'd be fine with that. Um, if that were to happen though, I think there should be a checkpoint system. Uh, Cause I mean, it doesn't, it doesn't really make sense that as soon as you get out the door, you're scot-free. Cause where are you going? I think it'd be cool if maybe the car was moved outside or maybe a second car, a working car, not one that's a hunk of junk. Um, could be outside and you have to get the car running. Maybe you have to collect, uh, gasoline or... I don't know why she wouldn't have a working car. But whatever. I mean, she's not going anywhere with that face, right? Nowhere in public, anyway. I think there's some more stuff you could do with this. 
I mean, multiple levels, I think, is the next clear step for this game. Because there's only so much you can do in the house. Once you get to the point where you're making the double basement, the garage, that's when it's time to take it outside the house. So yeah, those are my thoughts on the latest Granny update. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll be back in the next video. Let me know what you thought about this video and the game in the comments. Almost forgot that part. Think critically.